get my six. Guys, I'm in the hillbilly garden. We've only got about 20 minutes of daylight left. I'm gonna show you what I'm working on, but I've been, I've been gardening all day, doing stuff all over the place. Got our geese coming back. It seems like they're staying with us this year so far. But look, out of the corner of my eye, more than once, I've captured movement up here. I want you to watch. Don't pay attention to me while I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you here in a minute what I'm doing. Watch up here in this area. I know, and what's up with that crazy, creepy, weird light shifting thing back and forth? Anyway, before you start getting my six, here's what I did today. So here's actually the first project I did today, which is not part of the hillbilly garden. It's down here in front of the pond in our fruit orchard. Oh, I'm so excited. This is our third year of all these fruit trees. 40 variously assorted fruit trees are in the ground. Got a lot of fruit last year. Hope to get more this year, but I tilled all this up. This is a big mimosa tree. It's beautiful when it comes out and blooms in July, pink mimosa blooms. But I tilled up and dug all around it and planted dozens and dozens of tulips that we have come up this year. Okay, so I had some tulip bulbs left over, so I tilled this up too. So we come out on the back porch here, making our way over to the hillbilly garden. Gonna have some tulips. Now it's still a mess out here. I haven't gotten here yet, but I'm gonna show you what I've been working on inside here. Man. It's coming along great. Again, we already got all our cardboard down. Keep the weeds out. We got lettuce planted over here. We put potatoes in here. Yesterday, now what I've also, what I'm working on today here, you're going to see, you watch up in here. That's why I went in to get the phone. Being somewhat creeped on here by someone or something up there. But check this out. I'm planting sugar daddy snap peas. Uh, sent by our viewer, Aunt Rosie. Thanks for those seeds. We're getting them in the ground. What I'm doing, since this is a cold weather crop, I've come along and I'm cutting out these little squares just big enough to be able to get my trowel in here to dig it up. I put three, three pea seeds in each hole and I'll clean the mess up here afterwards. I actually planted some in the back of this raised bed garden, which was an old entertainment center. But see, I've already got the fencing, so that can be the trellis for the peas. So we're going to have peas vining all the way up through here but again don't watch me watch pea or plant peas you keep looking up here i'm seeing weird lights in the woods just oh, something's going on up in here are you just gonna have to get my six while i plant my peas it's a lot of work no
for the last few few evenings the frogs have been going crazy as you could hear they were starting to there's something up there making them go quiet and our our geese turned away they didn't land in the pond they 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 went around they went somewhere else Shout out to viewer James Lynch who pointed out in the video I made when I planted my lettuce that I had neglected to poke holes in the bottom of my plastic containers for drainage. Problem solved. Footsteps, listen. That's just a bird. It's trying to tell me something. Tree knock. You know, it's crazy. For years, people have been saying I should be armed right now every time I come out here because of this thing up here, or these things, whatever. You know what I've found keeps them away better than anything? Freaking cameras. It's like they can tell that IR infrared, I don't know what it is, something about cameras. 
people have mentioned trail cams, you know, new people to the channel. The folks who have been here a while know we've done that. We've done everything. And when we put trail cams up, they don't come around or they, they avoid them. So how crazy is that, that potentially the best defense you can have against these things are a freaking camera? Well, we now have peas planted around the entire outer perimeter of our redneck garden here to vine up the chicken wire, which is about six feet high. So it's gonna be the perfect trellis for them. But obviously as dark has been creeping in, so have the creatures, so. It's only going to get darker out here. My work is done. So I think that's it for today. See you for more next time.